hello youtubers welcome back to my channel so in this video we will be creating realistic looking butterflies in our scene with an animation but before we get started make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out my realistic game development tutorials and guess what once we wrap up this series i'll be sharing the complete project files with you so make sure you hit that bell icon to be first in line to grab the exclusive project files so let's start creating our butterfly model i will be creating a very basic butterfly model because you know butterflies are very small in our scene so that's why we don't require it to be more complex with a high mesh so let's get started so this is my blender so if you don't have blender then go ahead and install it so i'll be using blender 4.0 and this is my workspace and whatever keys i press will be visible at this section okay so let's start press a once or twice to select everything and then delete next go ahead in edit and in preferences in the add-on section search for images and you'll see option over here make sure you enable this checkbox and then close it now press shift a image images as plain and then we will search our butterfly image So I will be using this PNG image. So I will click on import image as plane. Press shift Z. So you can see my butterfly and this is a plane image. Alright. So now press tab to go to edit mode and press ctrl R. So we will make a cut in the center. So the reason we are making a cut in the center is because we want our butterfly wings to flap. So that's why we make a cut in the exact center. So this is a very basic butterfly with just two images. Alright, so in the edit mode, select this option and select one of the wings and press P. Click on selection. So now you have two different parts of butterfly. Alright, okay. So that's it for our butterfly. Now we will go ahead and export it. So make sure you select both of the things. So go to file and click on export. We will be exporting a GLTF format. All right, select your destination. So mine is in again 4.1. This is my project. And we'll click on GLTF separate bin with texture and include selected objects and make sure you select both of the wings and you enable this option okay no uh, no need to play with other things just click on export so once your butterfly has been exported make sure you open the godot so now we are in our godot and let's import the butterfly and then start animating it so first we'll create a 3d scene and then we'll browse our butterfly model so this is my butterfly model i'll just rename it to butterfly and then drag and drop in our tree node all right right click the butterfly and click on make local so now you can see we have both the wings the left and the right one so we'll quickly rename it and now we will animate our butterfly so we will add a animation player and we'll click on animation click on new and our animation name will be fly the duration will be 0.2 seconds all right now select the left wing in the transformation in the z-axis because now you can see our butterfly is facing in z direction so in the rotation in the z-axis you we'll click on minus 60 and just click this icon a keyframe icon click on create We'll do the same thing for the right one. So we'll select the right wing and under transformation, the rotation Z to be 60. And then we'll select the key icon and click on create. Now we will go to the last frame. And again, select the right one. This time we'll, for the right, we'll use minus 60 so that the wing faces downward. Again, click on the icon, select the left wing click on the rotation z axis 60 and again click on this keyframe all right so now you can see the wings has been animated 
now you can change the mode here animation looping and you can see the butterfly is now animated properly all right so here if you see that our wings has only animated downward and we don't animate it again moving back to the up the reason is because if we animate both up and down then butterfly don't look very natural so we just animate in one way and not the other all right so now we will save our butterfly scene So once you finish your butterfly animation, you can go to your main scene. So this is my main scene and I want the butterfly animation to take place here. All right. So then we will add a node 3D and then we will rename it to butterfly so that we know what nodes are what. So select the butterfly nodes and then add a path 3D node. So once you add your path 3D node, you will see few options available at this section. So you will select the plus icon, press 7 on your keyboard to go to top view. You can right click to pan around your view and then start adding points. So more, the more time you take to add points, uh, the good will be your result. And also make sure you add the points very closely because butterfly keeps on changing their way at a shorter phase. All these points are random. So once you finish adding your points, make sure you click this option so that it com it creates a complete bound between all the different points. All right, now you can see all the points are at the same level and our butterfly doesn't fly at the same level, right? So now we'll just quickly hide all the other nodes press one on your keyboard and then click on this icon and randomly place all these points at a random height see again i say the more effort you put in this section the beautiful will be your results all right once you finish the your placement of the points at a random height again you can just set all the other things to be visible and you can see the level is quite low so we just make or we just raise it up yes so we have raised now and you will see a few issues in your objects that the path is glitching in your objects so you can just change that manually this is the reason why I said the more effort you take in this, the better will be your results. You can even cross check with the other points so that it doesn't clip with any other objects. All right. So once you have placed all your points, now we will add a path follow 3D node and then we will add our butterfly as a child of path follow 3D. So press Ctrl Shift A and search for butterfly. So this is um, this was my scene. I'll just click enter and now you can see butterfly has been placed on one of the lines. All right. So when you select the path follow 3D, make sure you change the rotation mode to be oriented because sometimes what happens is like your butterfly will be moving in this direction and your butterfly will be facing the opposite direction uh, as like this so your butterfly will be moving in this direction and it will be facing in a wrong direction so that's why you just correct it and make sure it's in oriented mode even when you change it the mode to be oriented and your butterfly is in face and if your butterfly is facing in another direction make sure you change it manually all right now we it's time to add script so select the path 3d node and click on the script icon and this is our script so at the beginning we have at tool so this is a powerful keyword and this makes our butterfly to move in our debugger scene rather than running our scene again and again so if you make any changes 
and you want to reflect in the debugger mode itself rather than running your scene and manually seeing it so this is a powerful tool which makes it happen next in the ready function we just say to play our fly animation so we just target our animation player node and then we just play our fly animation which we created few minutes back then we have a constant m equals to 0.01 so this is the speed of our butterfly how fast we want our butterfly to be moving and then next in the physics process so let me explain you this code so before explaining this if you go to path follow 3d node here you can see we have a progress ratio which is currently set to zero as you move this our butterfly starts moving in our scene so we'll change this attribute in our code so that our butterfly moves so to change that we just make reference to path follow 3d node and then we just access the attribute and then we just change it to m times delta here m is our speed if you want your butterfly to move in a faster phase then you can just change the value of m all right we'll save our scene and then still you can see our butterfly is not moving so to fix this just close your scene once and again reopen the scene <clears throat> so now you can see our butterfly has started moving and then we do, don't see our butterfly to flap its wings no issues but our butterfly is moving so to fix the butterfly flapping its wing select the butterfly node click on make local select the animation player node and now you can see currently it's set to reset We'll just change it to fly and we'll just click on play now you can see the butterfly is playing the flapping animation along with its movement and you can create multiple butterflies as this one and make your scene look more beautiful so that's it for the tutorial thank you guys for watching my tutorial if you have any questions comment me below do like the tutorial do comment do subscribe and always have a great day